Hey you guys, these are my fights from the first week of the first ever Venus Battle, and even though in appearance Venus Battle looks very similar to War of Eternity, the mechanics of it are actually a bit different. Uh, so, uh, the ranking system in particular is very different, it's much more like Group Arena, so it's still actually something we're familiar with, but just not in this context. Uh, so you're trying to get into Silver Group, then Gold Group, and then into Diamond Group, and you need to meet certain point thresholds in order to get there. Uh, so there's a base uh, point gain of 40 points per win, and then I think it's 5 or 10 points per loss. So losses really not getting you too far here, uh, but then uh, you also get 30 blessing points each fight, and those blessing points can be used to get these Blessings of Venus. Blessings of Venus can uh, help you get more points either per victory or per any fight, win or loss, and they do stack up, so you can actually get both per fight, and then if you win, you actually get a ton of points. You can see that at the very end. And I end up doing that but at the beginning I didn't really know what was going on with with the blessings so I didn't use them quite yet uh, but anyway so uh, that, that's all there is to it the fighting is very similar to uh, to War of Eternity it is a couple war and so you're just fighting with your spouse obviously a lot of revives and things which is why the difference in the battle time is sort of frustrating to me I don't know if they did this on accident or if it was intentional but the fights are only three minutes long, actually two minutes and 50 seconds long, which for a couple fight is just not very good. You know, most of these fights, if they're close, they're going to end up going to timer just because, um, just because the, you can revive and, you know, somebody is going to be relatively strong enough and be able to survive through a lot of the attacks. And, uh, and so I just don't understand why they don't let it go to four minutes and 50 seconds. We still only do nine battles. And so with a three minute battle you just have like a guaranteed two minute wait time in between fights and so if you're gonna have us sitting there for two minutes you might as well let us continue the fight uh, so I hope that they fix that in the future but at least for right now we're stuck with the the two with the three minute fights instead of the five minute fights and before you know every single fight would end up going to the to the death in War of Eternity which I think is a good thing if you have the time for it and uh, and and that's because you know the battle bonuses you know the damage dealt increase would would go so high that pretty much you know everybody would get totally screwed by by the end um, just from how how much damage everybody was dealing uh, so yeah that's not my favorite thing about it I also really don't like that there are Balin buffs you know that's my least favorite thing about Titan War um, I think it really sort of spoils the fact that you work you know the rest of the time to try and build up your tune and then all of a sudden you can Balin buff or on top of that in the fights that said I don't think that most people are going to Balin buff in War of Eternity I just don't see people doing that um, I didn't see it here and I just don't see the point of it since since it's so different in nature, you know, you're not trying to, like, beat out somebody for first place. You're just trying to rank up and get into Diamond Group. Um, you know, that's not doable in one night, but, um, but, you know, gradually you can get there and it shouldn't be too much issue. Um, so anyway, I'll, I'll leave the rest of this as gameplay. I hope you guys enjoy and, uh, and I'll see you at the end for a little conclusion. I definitely look out for the different point differences because I do get some of the bonuses toward the end.
invincible. So here we're wrapping up, we've got the last fight of the week, and uh, and so up to this point I had used some multipliers, uh, some victory bonuses for some extra points. Uh, I paid 30 points per fight, and uh, you can get a small multiplier that will, uh, actually a small multiplier that tacks on quite a few points. And so uh, the base amount of points is 40, but then this week... Uh, I don't know what sort of math they do behind it, but uh, we were actually getting a multiplier of 2, so you would get um, 80 points per win, and then I think it was 10 points per loss. And uh, and so then you, you tack on more bonuses as you uh, buy up those blessings. Uh, so after this fight, I actually get quite a few points, uh, kind of wrapping things up right here. If I didn't get them there, she was probably going to, to bleed out. Uh, but uh, yeah, so this time around I get 208 points for that victory, so that's pretty nice. Um, so uh, I think the blessing points probably carry over. If not, that's sort of disappointing. Uh, but uh, but yeah, so we make it into silver group, which is good enough. And uh, actually only one group manages to get into, into gold, which is Ray and Rono, which if anybody's going to get in there, I guess it should be them. Uh, so, uh, so yeah, it, it was actually pretty tough to, to rank up at this point. I know Robin was saying that she was struggling a bit uh, with with Midori and they were just getting really tough pairings I think later on though it gets easier because like a lot of the top people get into silver group earlier and then you know as as you go on the the top people are winning so much that they um, go into a different group probably on their own uh, so uh, you know the next time it might start out easier but as I get into gold group the fights will get uh, more difficult again so, uh, so anyway, I thought it was pretty nice. You know, I, I do like the couple fights and everything like that. So uh, I'm looking forward to next week. Thanks for watching, you guys. Take care and have a very good day.